Alright, so now let's get stepped up. Everybody get stepped up, bruv. Um, it's time for that personal space. You get me? Custom tactics, part three. Personal space. And it is exactly how it sounds. Um, I don't want anyone too close to my players. And I'm talking about them themselves, bruv. As you can see. Well, you can't see from the formation. But when I break it down, you'll see that none of them are close to each other at all. You get me? Jacobs. Let's get it. And let me tell you, I care about my personal space. Whoa, whoa. Hey, who's around me right now? Who's around me? Now, why don't we step up here and everybody get stepped up and let's get some stepped up personal space up in this place. Here we go. We get a one personal space, two personal space, three, stay out of my personal space, four, keep away from my personal space, five, get out of that personal space, six, stay away from my personal space, seven, keep away from that personal space, eight, personal space, nine, personal space you know i take personal space pretty seriously all right so as you can see um this team from this angle that i've got it at is quite spaced out you get me like the players aren't close to each other at all in possession it's the same thing out of possession it's the same thing and i'll get into the details of that when i'm actually explaining the tactic but um as you can see we've got supporters in every direction every direction you've got supporters bruv um that's a target forward scoring. And the reason why it's a target forward is obviously because everyone else is wide. So you're going to need people to target the target forward because, you know, he's the only one that's going to be in the middle as it is. You see? Right, so I've just demonstrated what it looks like, yeah, in and out of possession on the field. Yeah, so let me just explain the role. So this is why I've got a sweeper keeper attack. The reason for that is we want to play out from the back and um, playing out from the back, I want him to be passing it out wide. So kicking it out wide. He's distributing it quickly as well, out wide. Um, wing back, I need one wing back on attack. I've gone with Poro for that, obviously. But um, wing back on attack for that right-hand side. Full back on support for the other side. I don't want two wing backs bombing forward. I want someone that's a bit less back, but it's still going to be crossing the ball from out wide. Um, two ball playing defenders because it is... Uh, system where we do need the center backs to get involved with the ball as everyone else is going to be out wide so the one midfielder that i'm not asking to roam is the deep line playmaker you get me on defend for a reason because he has to stay still you get me and then i've got one effectively a winger that's the mazella role um he's a winger man literally gets wide when he gets the ball just runs wide so he's supporting edwards then and i've got a roman playmaker who when he gets the ball he's going to be doing everything in terms of going wide in the middle everywhere he's going to be everywhere so roaming playmaker in it and then the reason why i've got two wingers instead of inside wingers or inside forward yeah, is because i want them to be running in straight lines getting as wide as possible getting to the actual byline crossing it in to your target forward yeah and not even just to your target forward to each other because if one person on the left hand side is running in a straight line crossed it to someone on their on the right it's easier it's an easier finish as you saw edwards got across on a, a low cross yeah he got a low cross finished it with his left foot bruv easy in it and then um obviously like i said the target forward because everyone's wide yeah they've got someone to aim for that's what helps also the mazella i don't know if you saw in the build-up gets involved the target forward as well because he's going to be pushing up into the box you get me um that's that's exactly what it is so yeah that's exactly what the formation is that's what the roles are in terms of our possession bruv um i've gone with the defensive width to force the opposition inside and that's the widest one possible you get me um higher defensive line and the highest line of engagement triggering the press much more often because i hate sitting back i don't care what formation it is um i did prevent short goalkeeper distribution with this formation because everyone's wide so there's no point of distributing it short bruv just get it out quick and staying on feet i ain't done no tighter marking and no offside trap i haven't selected any of those yet in transition countering and distributing quickly um distributing to the flanks like i've explained as well and taking long kicks that's what i've done um because it suits the way that we're trying to play you get me it suits that way Be beautifully All right for this attacking width man's obviously i've had to do extremely wide you get me man's going extremely wide yeah overlapping the left and the right hand side so if that's extremely wide and you're overlapping yeah you're using the full the full pitch literally 
just just to cross it in early, hit the crosses. You get me? Hit early crosses. I'm not working the ball into the box with this, with this tactic, bruv. You get me? Man has to cross that in early for your target forward to eat off or eat off those crosses, which is why I've done mixed crosses because it's a target forward. You can alternate the crosses, bruv. It's not an advanced forward where you want to whip it. It's a target forward, so he can, he can do a lot of the different ones. Um, I didn't want it to be too direct passing, and I didn't want the passing to be too short, so I've done slightly shorter. And the tempo, same thing, bro. So you can still get a little bit of the... I'm not going to say close-range passing, but you can get a bit of the football that looks neat when the midfielders are playing around, for example. But when it gets wide, the aim is to run at the defence, literally, and be more expressive when you're doing that. Spin a man if you have to, bro. Take a man's career. You get me? The wingers, bro. The wingers. And don't get it twisted, I did get inspired by wing play for this tactic, 100%. But um, this is called personal space, bruv, you get me? And that is the personal space, bruv, you get me? Personal space tactic number three, yeah? Shout out all the people, you get me? Um, I learned how to put the link of the tactics in the description for the last one. And I'm going to do it for this one as well, you get me? So yeah, you know, if you like that video, like that video. Subscribe to the content you don't expect from me and I'll see you in my next episode, bruv.